perhaps not as well known to tourists as its neighbour Dubai, Abu Dhabi has ambitions to become a major holiday and business destination, particularly at the luxury end. The city's enormous wealth is built on the oil industry, but it's also diversifying. The new Almeria Island, aiming to become a global centre of commerce, features the Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange. Then there's Yas Island, aiming to be a key cultural and holiday destination to rival those of Dubai. And catering to an emerging superprime office market is the world-famous five-tower Etihad Towers, opened in 2011. Abu Dhabi has um, a lot of wealth through the oil and gas sector, a lot of um, through the energy sector, and that's really sort of helped drive its economy. Um, but of, of late, you're seeing some other sectors which have really been sort of pushing forward. The healthcare sector has been growing, uh, education has been taking off, uh, tourism and hospitality as well. So that's sort of helping to bring a lot more people down into the city for work. Um, so it's sort of diversifying its work itself away from oil and gas. Cluttons has forecast Abu Dhabi's population to rise from 2.5 million last year to 2.6 million by the end of this year. Capitalising on this, Taiwanese developer Far Glory is one of the first Asian developers investing in the city. It's taking cues from London's One Hyde Park to build 500 luxury apartments on Almeria Island. Set within four towers, the $1.8 billion scheme is designed by architects Rogers, Stirk, Harbour and Partners. Uh, our project is a little bit more ambitious than the One High Park. High, one High Park, what they try to do in London is going to be premium residential. They have done, the, the developer has done a wonderful, wonderful job. But for me, I have another objective here because this is the global, uh, global, uh, Abu Dhabi global market. Uh, government not only want an ultra luxury development, but government also want a landmark to transform the cityscape here. Meanwhile, over on Yas Island, they're celebrating the opening of Yas Mall, featuring 400 shops and a 20-screen cinema aiming to rival some of the mega malls in neighbouring Dubai. The opening of the mall signifies the major retail component of Yas Island, which also houses Ferrari World and Yas Waterworld leisure parks. There's also the Formula One race venue featuring the Yas Viceroy Hotel, built right on top of the track. Catering to the ultra-luxury market, the hotel features rooftop pool and a marina setting. To further cater for luxury holidaymakers, Abu Dhabi will see the opening of the Louvre and Guggenheim Museums in 2017, adding a much-needed cultural element to the region. This is Nathan Cross for Estates Gazette.